We will get there. We will go to the end. I think. I mean, it has to be the ending, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna talk to Kyoko just in case I missed anything. You said you had a reason for doing all that investigating on your own. So, how'd that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? So... I think there's still a lot I don't remember. But at the very least, I was finally able to recall <gasps> her ability. Is she an assassin? Or investigator? I... My uh, ability? What everyone should have known me for? Woo! Ultimate, uh, ultimate detective. I thought she'd be an assassin, but detective school too. The ultimate detective? Correct. And the reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy, there was someone I had to find. Are you gonna find the mastermind? So. It was the headmaster. <gasps> what? Why did you want to find the headmaster? Because. <gasps> He's my father. <sighs> what? In other words, I was separated from him as a child. As it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Wow. Okay. I would not have guessed that. Then that explains what? When Alter Ego told us how he thought the headmaster was involved. I... I'll find a way. Huh? Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what? Wait, that means she remembered her memories? So, um... I... My memory hadn't come back at that point, but when it, when he said that, I felt strange. It makes perfect sense now, of course, since my whole purpose for coming here was to find him. Okay, so you felt like that because you kind of knew that was intuition. You knew your father couldn't do it. However... Okay, never mind. I thought she was doing it to protect him. I'd only said that what I felt based on what I'd seen when I snuck into the headmaster's room. So... <gasps> the room had been ransacked. The shelves were a mess. The desk drawers dumped on the floor. The only conclusion is that someone who didn't know where anything was had... <gasps> oh my gosh. You mean the mastermind? It's true. That was my assumption, yes. And to confront my suspicion... I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorms. Why? Yeah, why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. Indeed. It's a layout of the entirety of Hope's Peak Academy. Ooh. I found it in the headmaster's room along with Mukuro's file on that key. <gasps> Some of the staff must have had to stay overnight from time to time. And I figured the headmaster would have some kind of private room there. I assumed that if that were true, that room would likely hold more clues. So I went to check, and that's when I finally remembered. I remembered that my purpose was to find the owner of that room. So we went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room. However... <laughs> but once I got there, I noticed that the second floor of the rooms didn't have any cameras. Oh, that's crazy. It's hard to describe. All I can say is, I... the moment I saw it, I realized. Whatever's going on in this school is more horrific than we ever imagined. What? So... Why? Is it bloody? Or you need to see it for yourself. And really ominous. Should I continue talking to her? However... Oh, there were no cameras. Which is why I had no idea what was going on. Oh! Yeah, because she said that before the trial started in the last chapter. However, just to be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. Well, I didn't kill her too. So, oh, and we already know you didn't kill her, like someone was framing you. I know you're right, but that just means everyone but you and me had an alibi. Yeah, so then we did kill her. Anyway. Okay, zombies, right? I'm still saying zombies. Like, because one of the dead people in our class. Or, yeah. What I can say for sure is that the mastermind is directly involved. Or Hina. Either Hina or zombies. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Mukuro Ikusaba was to get me killed. I knew it! They didn't want to frame her. Beef was right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Even though Beef wanted to save Kyoko because of his love for her, but she really didn't kill her. Indeed. I stole that key and disappeared. And in retaliation, they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. <gasps> Correct. That was the point of the class trial. Wait, then it can't be Hina. Because Hina had an alibi. It was? Right? I, I think. The mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. You mean because of the school regulations? That's right. Yeah. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah, she didn't break the rules because she just went inside the headmaster's room freely. She didn't do anything In other wrong. words... The mastermind is adamant about following the rules. And with that rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do it. The mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules? That makes it sound like... The mastermind themselves is somehow bound by the school regulations. We already know that we're all participants in the game. So if he does break the rules, he's going to kill himself. Hey. There's one thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Mukuro Ikusawa. There was a point where Mukuro may have may not have become the victim. What? Uh, yeah, because we saw the, the killer at, like in front of my bed. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Crazy asshole. During the night? I... I can hear them, you know. The footsteps of the god of death. Yeah, okay, that makes so much sense. I can hear the god of death as he moves. That ability naturally draws me into cases, just like this. Anyway... Which is exactly what happened with you. I was in the dorms, and I had a sudden sense of dread. I looked down the stairwell and I saw a white shadow across the corridor. I gave chase right away. As I followed it, I saw the shadow go into your room. Correct. I ran into your room and I saw what was happening. I intervened immediately, of course. However... That wasn't the end of things. I stopped them, but that led to... Whoever the masked assailant was, they ended up dead. Correct. But we already established that was a different person. And the murder was disguised. And the dojo key wound up in my room. Yeah, it was all the work of the mastermind. Wow. So, all of this would mean that whoever killed Mukuro is also the mastermind. Right? So. Indeed. I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. Okay. Yuji Kyoko is right. And if she says that's the case. That means Mukuro Ikusabi. Okay, there's 16 students. Are you saying Mukuro Ikusaba died? Because we know that's her body. And the assassin that tried to kill me was someone different. At the time though... Okay, like everybody had an alibi. Or not alibi. We know Kyoko wasn't there. Everyone else had an alibi and I was the one getting killed. So... And we know that can't be Mukuro Ikusaba that tried to kill me because we know that Mukuro Ikusaba and that person that was in front of me when I was in my bed is a different person. Zombies. I'm just saying zombies. Zombies! But that's really bad if true. It means the mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait, but that, but that, but doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use the class trial to try and kill you because they couldn't interfere, right? Correct. You're right. That is a contradiction. And it's not just Mukuro. They needed the class trial to kill me. They seemed ready to kill you in your room. Everything they did is a contradiction. Yeah, because it's breaking the rules. So what does it all mean? In other words... It means the mastermind is the one who's being cornered. Makoto. Just a little more. A little more and I should be able to figure out the mastermind's identity. <gasps> Other ultimate despair? What? There's no doubt that Mukuro was the ultimate despair. But she was ultimate soldier. But I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. Indeed. If you think about it, the ultimate despair seems to implicate whoever caused that event. You're talking yeah, about right. what happened a year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. 
it would seem... That despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Indeed. Make no mistake. They're the root of all evil that has forced us to go through this. That is the ultimate despair. And that is our real enemy. Pain of a junk food junkie. Okay, look at those robots there. And. Mukuro Okazaba was the one dead. Hmm. Hmm. A group of people who caused a tragedy one year ago. Those same people put together this killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the Mastermind's true identity. Holy shit! The Mastermind's a group of people? Oh my god. This is insane. So we're not near the end. Our enemy has finally been revealed. But right now, anyway, right now we have to get out of this horrible place. Figure out the rest of the story can come after. Kyoko, do you still have that one thing? Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's Indeed. room? Indeed. It's an absolutely vital part of his ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. That's right. Oh! Yep, yeah, the door. Hey Kyoko, we can use that key of yours to open this door, right? It's true. Let's find now. Oh, well, she, she says let's find now, but her audio voice actor says, yes, it can. And then... Indeed. And now we can get out of here. Let's go. I made our escape. Finally, we were finally free. But there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief, because the real fight had just begun. <gasps> oh, that's a really long chapter name. Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate- No! No, I didn't finish! Shit. After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up, like a chimney. There was a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder, intent on reaching the surface. Ha! <laughs> Censorship of panties. The ladder was impossibly long. I couldn't even see where it ended. I can't either. We climbed into the darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I had no idea we were so far down. Hey. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. Hey, now we can see Kyoko's shoes. And they're not, well, they're purple, but they're really long heels. Y yeah, I'll be careful. But now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe talking will help keep my mind off it. Um, so Kyoko, there's something I want to ask you. You said you're the ultimate detective, right? So how long have you been doing detective work? How so... long? So... Ever since I can remember. I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always seen it that way. Then, is your family famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, Many people haven't heard of us. Hmm? But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? right? So... Because we take pride in it. Pride? Indeed. A detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we can discover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things. And to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. Which is why we made a conscious effort to conceal our existence. A conscious effort? It's true. It's kind of old-fashioned, and I can't say it's entirely rational. But it's our family creed, and we do what we must to protect it. Because like I said, it's our source of pride. Oh, Pride. So that explains. Before I came here, when I was looking up info about the school online, I never saw anything about her. Because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. However, oh. and yet, I gave up some of that pride. I... In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I didn't know it was something a true Kirikiri detective would never do. But the reason you gave up that pride... It was to meet your daddy! Yeah. What? Reconnect? 
I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? But, but, you'd be reuniting after all those years, right? You would have had so much to talk about. Wrong. There's nothing I want to talk to my father about. However... There is something I want to say to him, though. What? I... No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. W what is it? So... I want to sever all ties with him. Sever? The last time I saw him, I was still very young. So I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in line to become the next head of the Cutie Cutie family. He was talented. He had a promising future. However... What future when you're concealing yourself? But he had no interest in detective work. So he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died and he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather and they had a huge argument. And young as I was, he left me behind. I I'm sure there was a reason for that. You know, I feel like there's a reason for that too. That's Because your family's pretty prideful. And you guys like tradition a lot. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I take pride in my family name. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I'd gone with him, I never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression. So I couldn't tell. I couldn't see how she looked when she said that. What she might have been feeling. All I could tell was that compared to her usual self, she was more talkative and more emotional. I... I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. That's what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's However, not true. But there's one thing. One thing that I can never forgive. What, did he laugh your mom? So... The way everyone else looked at me. I was n never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. However... But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as the little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me, even to this day. I... You're kind of like Mondo. He didn't want to be in the shadow of his brother. Left. And he tried so hard to not be in his shadow. And when, an and when anyone that uh, tried to kind of go close to his past about his brother and him, he gets pretty sensitive. In order to remove him from my life forever, I have no doubt he forgot about me years ago. Oh, but your family, to just cut him out like that. Wrong. Our only connection is through blood, nothing more. And I bet, as a typical anime visual novel, I bet his dad, or Kyoko's dad, really liked Kyoko. Hey. Yeah? Is blood really enough to call someone family? I think your father really liked you, okay? Honestly. I think he would like you a lot. Because this is a typical anime visual novel. We finally reached the top. I wonder where it leads. <sighs> what other places can it go? I don't remember any places with locks. Looks like this Indeed. is it. On the other side of this door, Hope's Peak is waiting for us. I wonder if they'll be outside. Oh my god, that'd be That's so right. crazy. Remember that hatch on the ground near the trash room? No. I'm fairly certain that's where we'll come out. I unlocked it earlier, so it should open without much trouble. What happens if it isn't? I reached my right hand up and pushed against the hatch. What was she talking about? The hatch opened with these. Oh, we haven't been here in so long. This was like, what, chapter one? Chapter two? I can't believe how long that ladder was. I'm exhausted. I can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of there. Now we're back in Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah, now we're back. This is pretty hmm. crazy. Nothing's necessary. I was just returning the favor. Should we, shouldn't we close? Okay. I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but if the mastermind finds out, and I'm worried about you too, help me so they might listen. You're worried? Yeah, of course. So then, then let's just get a complete answer. In other words, let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. You know, he's already However, detected us. Yeah, there's cameras everywhere, even in the trash room. 
So you're saying rather than stressing out over getting caught, you should just give up now? Pretty much, on this case, yes. Because... Because the mastermind is the one that's ensnared. You said something like that before. What does it mean? So... The mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into Mukuro's death. There was a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. Yeah, by trying to kill me, right? Right. If we, if we can talk to Monokuma, we can confirm it. That should help with our negotiations. Indeed. Monokuma should be in the gym. Shall we go? Wait, why doesn't he just come to us like he does regularly? Okay. The times that he contradicted himself, the huge, like, the big thing is that he... Um... The, this, uh, the entire Mukuro Ikusaba case. That's a whole entire contradiction. Because... We, none of us, none of the living, like, yeah, none of the living students attack. No one killed, no one, we know it's the mastermind that did it. But yet, they're framing us and letting that slide. That's a big contradiction to the rules. Well now, well now, well now, well now. <laughs> Yoko, I don't mind so much, I but my don't believe it. But my Kodo's supposed to be dead. What's he doing here? That's exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really gonna be okay? Poom, poom. You are supposed to be punished. Did Kyoko help you? What? So what if I did? What will you do? Shing. If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, me alone will be executed. It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. So now I gotta punish you again. Angry. And this time I won't leave you anything to chance. K Kyoko, right. do whatever you feel you have to. What the hell? However, but before you do, let me just say one thing. No. If, if you execute Makoto, that means you'll lose. Not that that matters to you, right? Huh? I hey. lose? What do you mean by that? Because... Well, you set up this latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way. So you wanted, a, wanted an excuse to kill me. In other words... I was supposed to be chosen as the Blacken, and then executed, right? Yeah. Hey, hey! What are you talking about? However... But when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The result of the trials weren't at all what you were expecting. <laughs> because you never imagined that in that position, one person would protect another like that. Right. And in response to that unexpected development, Indeed. we reacted by proclaiming Makoto the Blacken and, and trying to execute him. You made the choice out of desperation. No, more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. <gasps> I'm a threat? <laughs> I'm complimented by that. However, But then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. An entity, an entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery. Yeah, alter ego, <laughs> my little baby. You never imagined the possibility of a being that could come to our aid, even after you killed it. Wrong? Now here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill Mukuro. You did. Yeah, Mastermind did. We know that. Listen to me. So executing Mak Makoto for it would surely be a violation of your rules. Which I know you love so much. If the black and ex is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? And that means I lose. You talk a big game. You saying the black and is me and not Makoto. Well, and you can prove this, right? Well, no, I can't. Don't just say it like that. Yeah. What is this? A comedy routine to make such bold claims without a shred of evidence? That doesn't matter. I don't have any right now, but with a little more time, I guarantee I'll find some. That's right. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there's only ever one absolute truth. Poom, poom. And now you're trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type? Ultimate detective? What? Because... If Makoto really was a killer, he never would have come to you willingly like this. He would have feared for his life, feared another execution. He would have tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the despair he loves. You so love to inspire. However, but here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. What the heck? And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in your absence of evidence? Indeed. It's not you I'm trying to convince. Hey. If you were to execute Makoto now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Yeah, like me, because I'm watching this. 
Huh? Indeed. Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. They would assume that you killed him because what we said is exactly right. Listen to me. Despair can never kill hope. Hey. Of course, you can say we're just making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No, you have no choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. If we want to earn our despair fair and That's square, what we have to do. then I suggest you take my advice. So, what is this advice of yours? It's true. To do Mukuro's trial all over again. Only this time, you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown. One final battle between hope and despair. Hey. Well, that would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? A fair trial. One last showdown. This would be our chance to expose the true identity! Oh shit. But what reason would the mastermind have to accept the challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. <laughs> interesting. Bear it! Ooh, very interesting indeed. Barry? What's wrong? Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little. So time for bear jokes! Now, what you suggested might be possible. It would certainly make for one highly of a climax. In other words... Does that mean you accept? You guys! If we do things your way, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would cause you unbearable despair, right? Then I'm prepared to agree to your terms. <laughs> will, you hope when, will your hope win out? Or will my despair claim victory? I can barely contain myself! Let's have one final grizzly showdown. He agreed. Then we still have a shot at this. Bear it! But this is a long way to climax, right? Just guessing the killer is barely a fitting end. You guys! So for not this final face-off, you have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries? <laughs> that's right. Every last mystery that's pawing around the school. If you can't do that, I can barely contain then that'll myself. be enough to qualify as a victory for you. It's true. That's what we've been trying to do all along. <laughs> okay, well good. Then let's bear it all. If you can claw your way to the truth of Mukuro's death and solve the mysteries of the school, you guys. then you win. <laughs> and if you can't do all of that, we'll all face execution, right? <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement. When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? <laughs> We're as excited as you Listen are. To me. When we've even covered every last truth, how will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? Ooh, I honestly can't believe how this has all turned out. Hey. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. What's wrong? I remember that for sure. So what? Hey. I just want to confirm. That is what you said, right? And it's a true statement? <laughs> you don't have to be so suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything is based on school regulations. And having a trial for Bukuro is no exception to that. Huh? <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know. But okay, enough puns. And wait, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but the killing game begins with 16 participants. All of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? Why do you go quiet? <laughs> Does that mean there's a possibility of another person being there? So get lost, would ya? He seems emotionally unstable. Hey! Leave me alone. Get out of here. Okay, I'm going. Just, just. You're really gonna let me go? Hmm. I don't even care anymore. You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway. I need to start getting you ready. A super duper extra special punishment. Overflowing with despair. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> He's crazy. Hmm. It's kind of strange. He's becoming more unstable. Because he's been laughing way more than usual. 
I think it's because we're close to the end, but it's still kind of creepy. I somehow ended up not getting executed. Woo! Still had my life, and we still had a chance. Overall, things turned out way better than expected. Yeah, it's true. Anything better than death, you know? Once again, I was in Kyoko's dead. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because However. of you. Don't thank me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, now we have to do the trial thing. <gasps> this is the last one. But still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. B but honestly, why would the mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? So... They had no choice but to accept. Huh? Because... It's all because of that one moment that the mastermind let down their guard. So when was it that the mastermind let their guard down? So... I wasn't there to hear it myself, but do you remember what the mastermind said? They said they had hijacked the airwaves to broadcast our school life to the outside world, right? Mm-hmm. They said, wait, how did you hear this? Listen. And what did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so unbelievable. Indeed. You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. However... And yet, somehow, the Master Board was able to do it. In other words... But think of it in another way. There must have been some reason they had to do something that difficult. A reason? So... They had to show the world something. No matter the cost. Us killing each other. They wanted to show the world? It would seem... The Mastermind has been very adamant about not killing us directly. But forcing us to kill each other. So is that why... They didn't, like, uh, come out and say, like, Oh, I killed Mukuro. And then killed everyone. Because they want us to keep killing each other. And all of their rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. In other words... So the Mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us all kill each other. And show that off to the world. Correct. To prove a point, most likely. Hmm. Hey. The outside world has a name for the students of Hope's Peak, right? A certain concept. Yeah, it's Hope. That's right. And for th those of us who represent Hope to kill each other and sing into despair, the mastermind wants the world to see that. <gasps> to try and prove that despair is better than Hope. That's their goal, as the ultimate despair. <gasps> they want to make the whole world go fall into despair. They want to prove that despair it's better than hope. Man, this theme of hope and despair is really overwhelming. It's true. You're right. It is ridiculous. Completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate despair would devise. Or crazy people. Crazy people. That group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Is that really their only reason for making the rest of us Mikoto. suffer? I know how angry it must make you, yet... The same motivation is what led to the mastermind revealing their weakness. In other words... Because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world. The mastermind has had to be more particular than is reasonable about their own regulations. And the mastermind simply ignored their rules. This wouldn't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At the very least... At least, that's how those who are watching this would have seen it. <laughs> Oh. Indeed. Yeah. He wants. He doesn't want to kill us. No matter how much they may hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of their regulations. Well, kind of. Actually, he never did. Junko broke the rules, so she was punished. But in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. You know what I noticed? Yeah, Junko's a very pale woman. I wonder if, right. like, my original thought was that she was the person that died. But there was Mikuro's Ikusaba that's there. Mm. I guess whatever. So instead, they tried to use the class trial, following all their proper rules, to get me killed. They began a trial that didn't have a right answer, that made it me out to be a killer. 
It's also weird that they brought back Junko in that story like that. But even that didn't work. It's true. Yeah, thanks to you. And due to that failure, the mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. Yeah, I think a lot of the watchers already should know that. And when that fact was exposed on live TV to the entire outside world, the mastermind had to accept your suggestion. Indeed. Mm -hmm. To prove to the world that despair is better than hope, they have to defeat us in the perfect way. In other part. words, it would only do the mastermind harm to have it shown that they violated their own regulations. But all of that was a hunch, right? And you're still able to get the mastermind to accept your challenge. However, yeah, because you believe me. Still, I can't. Well, thanks to Beef's love for you, Kyoko. Still, I can't believe how much of the mastermind's thoughts and plans you were able to figure out. <laughs> yeah. Wrong. I couldn't prove any of it. <laughs> it was just my reasoning. Uh, you're a very <sighs> smart girl anyways. Whatever. But it looks like I got it right. This time at least I won the bet. This time she means. She let out a quick sigh. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seem totally cop but then from the moment we decided to go talk to them. Hmm. Well, presenting a strong demeanor is a fundamental part of negotiation and persuasion, wouldn't you say? Plus, if I showed my uneasiness, that would have just made you that much more uneasy. <laughs> yeah. However, if you're uneasy, then I would be uneasy, okay? Because you look calm, girl. Anyway, we can't relax just yet. All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Correct. Or everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. Yes, whatever. It'll cost us our lives. Hey. But before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. Oh yeah. All we have to do now is work together. Work together with everyone. However, it should be possible. We have anyway, to work together. Shall we go? Mm, they're all in the dorms, right? Wait, are we gonna have free time? I don't know. We're on the final chapter. I don't know if there'll be free time. Because we're gonna be investigating and stuff. Hmm. So what, I need to open everyone's doors? Mine. Oh, here's my Kuya's door. This is Kuya. Is he inside? Hey. What? Toko. Hey. What? Where are they? This is the last room. Hey. Okay. Okay. If they're not there, there's one more place they can be. It's the infamous dining hall. Chances are they're here. Who? What the? You again. Is he broken? Haha. <laughs> Jeez, what the heck? However, I wonder what that was all about. Is that Makoto? Y you guys! It is! There's no two ways about it. That's Makoto! Huh? You s survived? Jeez. Ooh. You're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? Dear Kuya, I love you too, I'm man. I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? Oh, hero, hero, hero. Everyone was there. All my friends who had struggled together and survived. As soon as I was, saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. Aww. Friendship. What? Wait, what's that smell? What the heck? Yeah, man. That seriously stinks. Uh. That's Makoto. He smells like a wet dog. <laughs> Get away. Hey, you're always stinky. Why would you say that? And in a flash, my tears dried up. Wow. Makoto. Rude. There's no time to indulge in an extended happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone what happened with Monokuma. Yes. Explain? Explain what? Hmm. 
But is it okay that you're here? What if the mastermind catches you? It's true. That's related to what I have to tell you all. Oh yeah. And we're gonna words. tell them about everything. We're going to redo Mukuro, Mukuro's trial. Huh? What is it? Seriously? How about that? What's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her, right? Wow, Hiro, thanks. Thanks, Hiro. No, I didn't do it. Like I keep telling you. Wrong. Makoto isn't the killer, and of course it's not me or any of you. Huh? Th then who is it? I see. What she's saying is it was all the work of the mastermind. Huh? What? You're saying the mastermind killed Mukuro? That's right. That's right. It was all an elaborate trap contrived by the mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time and did what he had to However, to, to stop it. But his decision meant that he would be the one to die. What did you, you say? You spotted the trap, did you, Makoto? Yeah, because I'm smarter than you, Piyokuyo. Oh, burn! You make it sound like it was easy. I just, you yeah, know, protected However, Kyoko with love by beef. But expect by executing Makoto, who wasn't the black end, is a clear violation of the school regulations. The rules state that only the black end is to be executed. The mastermind broke their own rules, hmm. which is why I went and negotiated with them to have the trial one more time. Huh? And the mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? Hmm. They had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to gain the leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. Very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial, when you said, now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. That's what you were referring to. Don't be mean! Oh, poor Hiro. You can ask Kyoko later. Mm -hmm. um, about that. It's about who killed Bukuro, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind? Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, there's more to it than that, right? Yeah, we have to solve every little oh. mystery. But. Anyway. We've probably guessed already, but if we lose this tie, everyone dies. Oh, e no! Everyone. <laughs> I hate you. Hey. Who said you could agree to those terms without talking to the rest of uh, us? Yeah. I'm fine with the way things, the way, way they are. I'm fine living here with my master. I, meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, at this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. <laughs> interesting. In other words, one decisive final battle. A rather interesting development, I'd say. But, but figuring out who the mastermind is and how they killed Mukuro, and all the school's mysteries. It's too much. It's a pretty tall freaking order. Maybe, but this time the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll solve all those mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. Huh? I... Oh no. Why not? But none of us had killed Mukuro. It's the mastermind. Well... So maybe he you know. Indeed. That's what I thought too, at first. Until Monokuma gave us that little hint. <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know. But okay, enough puns. Hmm. This killing game begins with 16 participants. All of them high school students. Hmm. That's the... Yeah. There's that flashback too. Monokuma said that, did he? Hmm. Huh? So in other words, if the mastermind really is the own is the one who killed Mukuro, as Kyoko says, then the mastermind would have had to set foot in the school, right? Monokuma could probably murder Mukuro, but there's no way he could have disguised the scene like that. In other words, but according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. <laughs> Then the m mastermind is. There were 15 of us in the m main hall at the very beginning. And in Mukuro, and you get succeed. So the huh? mastermind would have to be one of them? That's right. And of those 16 people we started out with, the only ones still alive are the people standing right here. What? No. I can't be. Because me and Kyoko. Me and Kyoko were talking to Monokuma. And we know Mon um, the mastermind is very vul is vulnerable. 
when we are talking when when, he, when the mastermind uses Monokuma and they can't multitask. So if everybody was in the dining hall and me and Kyoko were talking to Monokuma at the gym, could the headmaster be the mastermind? No way! Because they said 16 students are participating in this game. So the headmaster has to be the mastermind. Indeed. It's certainly a possibility, but only one among many. The mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. Hmm. No, that can't be! What the heck is this plot hole? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're an ultimate, right? It's the ultimate despair. So they must be a high schooler. <laughs> you can't say it's not possible. Well, if one of us was the mastermind, they'd have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious? Yeah! Anytime Monokuma was active. I don't care how sneaky you are. We would have noticed something sneaking off that many times. I'm right, right? Yeah. In that case, there's no way you could have had all, all those back and forth conversations with us. Hmm. Well, it would be would it be entirely possible. Ah, uh, you've all probably figured this at this point. The killing game has now entered. True ending mode. So, in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? Okay, yeah, so I guess it's still free time. <laughs> hmm? A very magnanimous of him to unlock all of the rooms. That's fine. The time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. But, but, <laughs> I was planning on working alone. No, be a Kuya senpai. In the name of my family. At this point, I can rely only on myself, on the Togami blood flowing through my veins. <laughs> oh no. He left the dining hall. <laughs> He didn't take me with him. Hey. Without master, the rest of you are like coffee with cream without the cream. Or coffee. So nothing? We're like, not even yeah. coffee at all? So, bye. Bye. With that, Toko trudged out of the dining hall. Uh. Oh no. Indeed. That's right. Hmm. Why should I just leave Makono? He and me. No. You know? In that case, I'm gonna. Why? Just a second. Wait, how come? How about that? Just wait and see. I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mastermind's identity. <laughs> Hero. Aww. Everyone's really gonna go off. What about you, Hina? Mm. I guess I'll do the same thing. But... I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know? Because, I mean... But up to now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just depended on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If you hadn't been there, I would have died. M Makoto. <laughs> mm, that's really nice of you to say. But... But still, I know I've mostly been totally useless. Okay. Maybe I can find something that will help us all get out of here. So I'm gonna go up and do it all on my own. <laughs> mm. Indeed. However... Just because we're going to do our searches separately doesn't mean we can't still work so... together. Mm, that's true. And then we can get back together and show what we found. So then. Better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Correct. Yeah. We should go to the places Nicole. that we have never went to before. He said he unlocked everything, right? I'll prove that the mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the mastermind's true identity and solve the mystery of the school. And then we can all escape together. I don't need to see this. We saw this already. Once we found out who killed Mukuro Kosaba, then we'll know who the mastermind is. Hmm. And master, bio lab, data center, yeah! The second floor of the dorms. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. I'm not remembering that. Uh, 
Let's go. Second floor. You gotta notice this stairs are really pretty. I have to do it. What the heck happened? It's like a battle. It's not even more like a battlefield. It's like someone brought a wrecking ball and brought their building to the ground. Anyways, let's look. Ooh. We can go in here. Oh my god. Does the bathroom work? I opened the door just to crack. Glass inside and immediately closed it again. Ooh. This is a mess. I mean, it's not even really a bed anymore. It's just garbage. Wow, it's still a bed. Oh, it's my coat on that. It's so mean. Oh, the heck. Why don't we see anything here? It's just black darkness. God. Can I go into the girls' bathroom now? Wow. What about this? Ooh, yay, we can go in here. What the? What? What? It's beautiful. What? Is there's no rubble in here? Why are we not commenting about that? Okay, there's a giraffe here. Suspicious. This room is filled with lockers. It must have been by the Hope's Peak students who came before us. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I don't want to be checking all this. Nope, locked. It's pretty similar to the card readers. And you have to use your e-handbook. None of this. So all of this I can't open? Maybe I'll get like another e-handbook of like an older student. Whatever. We'll come back to that room after. I just want to look at this. Man. God damn this place. This place is horrible. This room doesn't really feel like a student room. It has a more adult Correct. atmosphere. <gasps> it's a headmaster's private room. Indeed. I've been through this room several times already, but I still have one little regret. So I decided to check it out one more time. What did you want to check out? Kyoko looks almost meek right now. Okay, fine. Okay, we should check this. I think that's a door. Mm. Is it some kind of design mistake or a construction defect? So there's a gap here, but not just any normal gap. I can feel a breeze. Indeed. It's likely an open space. <gasps> Is it the way to the outside? I think I might know how to open it. Did you figure out some kind of trick? Indeed. A very easy trick. So easy, I'm not sure you can even call it a trick. I saw a program on that PC that I think controls it. Enter the right password. And the door should open right up. However, but I don't have a clue what that pass what that password might be. All we know is it's probably made up of letters and or numbers. It's true. I looked through all his paperwork, all the files on the PC, everything I could think of. I learned more about him than I had any desire to, but nothing that might have been his password. Ooh. When I think of how much time I wasted on this. A leather chair. Really? I'll try to look at the shelf. <laughs> Man, I'm always getting snot everywhere. It would seem whoever used this last, it looks like they were very interested in the ultimate despair. However, mm. Mm. in other words, the ultimate despair isn't one 
individual, one's death points to some kind of group. That group is responsible for the tragedy, which happened a year ago. They're the worst sort of people. So they were terrorists? However, like international terrorists? Whew. Correct. I see. That's a good outlook to have. Hmm. Jeez. So there's a hidden room she couldn't get into. That's what she meant by regret. I think we can assume that there must be some kind of clue. Hmm. Hmm. What would it, would it be her name? Or like her birthday? What about your name? What? What? Oh, I had snot in my face. I'm sure she hasn't tried it. I mean, it's totally understandable. After the way she talked about her dad, the idea that he would use her name as his password, knowing how she is, I bet the idea never occurred to her. I didn't even know I had snot on my hand. Do you mind if I try it just to be sure? Well, it's not like you need my permission. Well, that was embarrassing. Do whatever you want. You know, I'm glad I, th I thought of trying Kyoko's name. But if that's not it, that might just hurt Kyoko even more. Well, we gotta try it. If you're worried about me, Makoto, don't be. I already know your, that your guess is wrong. Okay, let's just type it in. Yeah! What? That did it? Kyoko worked! Why? Because he, he cared about you. Without looking at me, she disappeared into the hidden room. Yay, we get to go in. <gasps> it's a birthday present. Her gaze was fixed on only one thing. A present? There's a brightly colored box here. The more suspicious I get. Should we open it? Okay. Makoto. Be careful, Makoto. Why, you think it's dangerous? No, not dangerous. But surprising, probably. It would seem... At the very least, it's not something you'll be happy to see. Anyway... Something I'm not happy to see. <gasps> Is it a dead body? Is it? Oh, yeah, I don't want to read. Oh. Okay, it's not jump scare. It was bones. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. If it was, like, like something like popped, like, pfft, I, I would just cry. Human bones. It was the last thing I expected to find in such a bright, joyful box. Well, I thought of other gruesome things. I see. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh. What? What did you think? Why didn't you tell me? How could you have known that? I mean, there are bones in there. Human Whoa. bones. Well, it's not that I was thinking of the bones specifically. I just had a feeling it would be his body. My father. Oh my gosh. Correct. What you found in the box? Those bones. That body. Or at least, what's up? This is Kyoko's dad? Wait, how? What? Hold on, how do you know that for sure? How do you know that's so... it? So... The person may very well be the mastermind. The headmaster is a man in his late 30s. He's likely somewhere in the school. 
<laughs> it's a very important. Oh, yeah, Molly Cooper. But, but his is only saying how there was only part, like 16 students or 16 students participating in the killing game. And the only people to take a single step in Holt's Peak since the killing game began. Oh, the only people that were inside the school are the 16 students. The headmaster. <gasps> In other words, or just dead outside. He could have been outside the school. You didn't have to think of that. No, she wasn't in calm. She was only trying to see in calm. How do you know that? But I have to believe that at some point, she wanted to prove be proven wrong. Was this why she never looked in the box herself, even though she had plenty of chances? I know Kyoko said she wanted to see her father so she could cut off all ties. But was that all there was to it? I gave him some of that pride. In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I didn't know it was something a true kitty kitty detective would never do. No. Look at the other stuff. This picture. Aww. Is this a Kyoko? Why would you? This is annoying. And yet, he loved you. So what do you expect me to do now? And I was right. It's a Pio It's a picture of Kyoko when she was a little girl. Knowing the headmaster had this picture all this time, he must have really cared about her. Why? 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 I wanted to face it and tell him myself. To count him out of my life for abandoning me. That's the whole reason I came here. And now he's abandoned me again. And this time, he even stole the opportunity I had to move on. 